How's everyone doing? This is kind of an impromptu video. I just heard the doorbell ring and I'm expecting a package. So I figured we would go together and unbox it and check it out. And this again is my uh, office area. Just a quick uh, pan around of the collection. Uh, Criterion collection from there and then Twilight Times from Eureka, Disney. Obstructed from view are uh, the Blu-ray TV seasons and box sets. Up the top are bust sets, some Arrow video, Digibooks, Steelbooks, all the rest down. And then more um, Blu-rays over here, which is um, all horror Blu-rays. A couple sets at the top. And then some more horror Blu-rays over there. A couple more sets, some Funkos. Was able to get some signed up as well. So that was pretty cool. And uh, Bush Patrick and some box sets. And stuff a little bit of everywhere. So yeah, kind of disorganized right now. But let's go ahead and turn this light off. Conserve electricity. Got to pay those bills. Uh, here's the rest of the collection. Uh, those are horror DVDs over there. All uh, regular DVDs. I've got like another big box of DVDs and a couple Blu-ray box sets still. There's my dog, Wrigley. Every time I come over here and every time I film a video, he's like, Oh, you want to pet me? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> um, so yeah, more Blu-rays there. And some boxes up at the top. Blu-rays. Some 4Ks. That's not all of my 4Ks, but... There's some of them and some more uh, Blu-rays and yeah, I have to organize everything still. Everything is still unorganized. Uh, I finally got all the bookcases. Really, I need more bookcases, but I should. Uh, I keep trying to thin out the collections. A constant ebb and flow. Uh, if I can't see myself ever rewatching a movie, I get rid of it. Uh, but I always, you know, get new stuff in. So it's a constant battle. But let's go ahead and check to see what came in the mail. I know my mailman hates me because uh, <laughs> these constant delivery packages. Hopefully this one isn't damaged because the last few ones were. But let's go ahead and go downstairs. Dun 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 dun. With anticipation. All right. Let's see. What is that? Red box, that's weird. No address label on it. That is bizarre. I've never received a red box before. Should I be worried? Did somebody send me a bomb? Hopefully that's not the case. Let's go ahead and check this one out real quick though. Yeah, there's no, that's weird. That's super bizarre. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, what's in the box? Ah, what's in the box? Love that scene. Um, <laughs> this is super weird. I've never received a red box. Um, yeah, this is bizarre. Hold on one second. Let me, uh, yeah, okay. There is a, uh, tear this off real quick. I don't want you to see my address in case somebody really does want to send me a bomb. Meh. All right. All right. <laughs> Was that a good shot of the remote? That's probably a terrible upward angle. You're probably getting the, the worst view of me ever. But, um, all right. It's, I don't know what, what this is, what company this is, but uh, T-F-H-E. Take that off. All right, but yeah, it's super weird though. I, in all the years of receiving packages, I've never received a, a red box like this. All right, are you ready for the big reveal? Let's check it out. Dun, dun, dun. What's in the box? Uh, let's see, it's, wow, that is, I have no idea what the heck this is. I did not order this. Uh, it's funny, I actually, this is actually really surprising. Um, I have not picked up Logan yet because I really wanted to get the Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook, which went out of print like immediately, just sold out. Uh, my Best Buy usually gets like three copies or something. Um, and I wasn't gonna pay like 60 bucks for it, so uh, I held off on getting it. So I do not have this in the collection. I love the film. And uh, this is a four disc set right here with um, the theatrical and Logan Noir versions, which I'm really looking forward to checking out. Uh, some HDR, which I'm sure for this film would look amazing. Uh, this is the 4K Ultra Blu-ray Digital HD Combo Pack. So that is pretty awesome. Um, okay. This is bizarre because it's opened. Or I think all of these are opened, in fact. This this is super... I have no idea. 
This must be TFH, uh, TFHE, must be a 21st uh, Century Home Entertainment. That's my, This must be some kind of, uh, I, I, I can't say this is a review thing because this is an older, this is like, what, two months ago now this came out? The Mars one too, that came out like two months ago. So this is, I don't know, I, I don't remember entering any prize or anything. So this is... Uh, a huge surprise right here. You know, it's funny, I did this like impromptu video because I was expecting another package uh, that I knew what it was and I thought for certain that's what it was and it wasn't and there was just a red box of mystery out there and it turned out to be something else that I had no idea and I still, this is bizarre because, all right, so let's check out to see what else is in here. Um, I guess we'll do one at a time. We'll do, well, uh, maybe I'll, I'll put this off to the side. And we've got this one right here, Mars, from uh, National Geographic, with, um, executive producers Brian Grazer and Ron Howard. Uh, I remember seeing a couple episodes of this, and I was really excited for it. Um, the first episode, though, it just didn't mesh well for me. That was the biggest thing that I thought of. Uh, it's like kind of a mixture of fiction and nonfiction. It's got some like documentary style where you, they talk to like um, like real NASA people and people involved with the space program and stuff like that. It's set in the future. It's kind of a mixture of, of that. Uh, so they they have those segments where they're talking about actual space programs, and they have uh, where it's set in the future of I think uh, what's the year? Let's see on the back. Uh, 2033, where they're going to do a uh, journey to Mars. So yeah, all right, you have got Neil deGrasse Tyson, Elson Musk, uh, or, I'm sorry, Elon Musk, um, and a bunch of other uh, NASA astronauts and more. So yeah, they actually talk to those kind of people and talk about things that have happened in space programs and then mix it with um, you know this this TV show, this idea, this concept of uh, you know traveling to Mars. So I haven't checked it all out yet. And I know there's like a little sticker over the barcode. So here we go. It's a three disc set. Looking forward to uh, finally finishing this show up. I think I'm going to start it over again uh, from the beginning. All right, underneath that, we have uh, Hidden Figures, the 4K version. You know what's so weird about this is, like, I really don't know what this is. Uh, because if it was review copies, these would have been shipped out forever ago. They usually don't ship out uh, review products after the street date. Um, and I didn't enter any contest or anything. Uh, I mean, I'm thankful. This is pretty awesome. This is, like... You know, Christmas in uh, July right here. Um, this is Hidden Figures, the 4K version. Again, these are open too. Oh, and this one has like a, a piece missing from the barcode. The other ones, the Logan one, uh, has like a sticker over the barcode as well as the Mars one. Um, so, yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, this was like a mini series, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. Uh, but Hidden Figures, uh, I did see, I think it was a film, much like the movie Loving. It was an important film, but I just don't, feel like it really had that big impact cinematically, or cinematically for me anyways. Um, yeah, I, I felt the same way. I think this was a very important story that should have been told because I never knew about it before. I think a lot of people didn't. It's um, based on the true story of uh, these uh, young African-American women who were working for NASA and it was because of them uh, that they uh, got the, the space program turned around and got John Glenn into uh, orbit and essentially turned around the whole space race. Uh, during that time period and it also obviously deals with racism and everything that they had to go through um which was you know it's so crazy to think that was part of our history and the segregation and just how crazy that was but um i think everybody did a great job acting wise um taraji p henson who's been a while been around for so long and uh, you know she's making it big now she's on empire but she's been an amazing actress for a while uh, octavia spencer has blown up um, and then uh, Janelle Monet, who's actually a really talented actress in her own right. But you also have Kevin Costner in here, uh, Kirsten Dunst, Jim Parsons, uh, Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory. Um, again, I think it's an inspirational movie, a uh, great movie, or I mean, great tale of a uh, history. Uh, but to me, it's not something that um, was that impactful cinematically. Uh, it's not one that I think I'd really want to watch again personally. I felt the same way about the movie Loving. Uh, had a great cast, and uh, it was an important movie, and especially for American history, and history in general. Uh, but yeah, I just don't. It didn't really have that uh, impact for me. But uh, I think it was. Not, was it nominated for Best Picture? I'm not sure if Hidden Figures was or not. It might have been. I can't recall off the top of my head. But uh, looks like there's a, a bunch of special features in here. 
And I'm really looking forward to the Logan Noir. A ton of special features in this set, a four disc set. And I'll go ahead and do a complete, you know, open this up. And there you go, there's the 4K disc and then the Blu-ray disc. So let's go ahead and put that off to the side and I'll open up um, the Logan one too. This is really shocking to me because I still don't know what the heck this is. Um, but I'm thankful, nice uh, slip cover right there. And here we go, moving special features. And then uh, the Logan Noir, I'm really excited for that. And then uh, the Blu-ray versions of both. And uh, modern black and white films, there have some, been some really good ones. I really liked uh, La Haine, it's probably one of my favorite modern black and white movies. If you haven't checked that out, I would highly recommend it. Uh, let me know what your favorite modern black and white movie is. It could be an alternate version, like uh, the Silver and Chrome, Mad Max, Fury Road, I'd include that in there as far as a choice, not on my, wouldn't be on my top list. Or if you've seen the Logan Noir, maybe that looks awesome. But uh, let's go ahead and see what else is in here. Looks like the rest are DVDs. Uh, the Story of God with Morgan Freeman from National Geographic. This is season two. Didn't he do the, the voice of God in um, Bruce Almighty? Or he played God in Bruce Almighty. So yeah, this is a TV show with uh, Morgan, Ho uh, Morgan Freeman as the host. And I guess it goes over uh, religion and heaven and hell and the existence of God and proving it and just going through um, archaeology, religion, anthropology. So it seems pretty interesting. So looking forward to checking that out. And just the one disc on that set. And then next up we've got um, Years, uh, Years of Living Dangerously Season 2 from National Geographic. And it looks like you have a bunch of uh, famous people here. Uh, I guess it's talking about uh, climate change, going to different locations, covering issues like severe hurricanes, droughts, uh, extinction of wildlife. Uh, you've got uh, Jack Black, Giselle Bündchen, uh, Don Cheadle, just a whole bunch of David Letterman right there. He looks so different with that, with the hair. Um, Sigourney Weaver, our Arnold Schwarzenegger, just a whole bunch of people. And here is the the discs in here. So it's a three disc set, oddly put in backwards, because that's disc three, disc two, disc one. This actually looks like the case was all put in backward, or the cover at least, that's what it was. And this one, yeah, they some of the ones have the little parts cut out in the back of the UPC, while some of them just have a sticker over it. And then last in here in this box is uh, Before the Flood from um, Leonardo DiCaprio and Fisher Stevens. So uh, this looks like another one that's gonna be covering like climate change, yeah, environmentalism and stuff like that. Um, dramatic changes occurring. And I think uh, when Leonardo DiCaprio won in his um, his Oscar, long overdue for his acceptance speech, he talked about that. So that's something that's very important to him. So yeah, he's rocking the beard from Revenant style. So yeah, I guess it's just basically talking about uh, you know the damage done to the the planet and all the importance of that. And on the back, it uh, actually says "Urgent Captivating." Uh, it's a movie that the world needs to watch. It says iTunes. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, so that is a really, and that one had the little barcode missing piece in there too. So that's super, let's go ahead and, I don't know, did I, yeah, I didn't open this one up. It's just a one disc set in this one. And the recycling cases, recyclable cases, because I guess that fits for this uh, theme as well. We're trying to conserve the environment. But I, yeah, this is, I have no idea what this is. I didn't get any notification that I was receiving this. This is just like a super random mystery box of goodies right here, and um, I'm very happy, especially for Logan. Um, I loved this one, a very uh, heartfelt, emotional um, comic book movie, and I loved seeing some of the characters in there, uh, Laura X-23, and yeah, a very uh, emotional movie. Really caught me off guard by how much I enjoyed it, and I hope that... Um, Hugh Jackman will come back and play Wolverine Logan again. I like the old man Logan character. So yeah, that, this was a complete surprise. Looking forward to checking out all of this. Uh, Hidden Figures is the only one that, I don't know, maybe I want to check out the special features on here though. Sometimes a lot of the ones, uh, the movies that I've seen, the special features are, make it worth keeping even. Uh, I've seen some movies where the special features for me were better than the, mil uh, the, the film itself. So 
Uh, some interesting uh, movies and TV shows and mini series in here. Uh, this is a shocking red box of mystery. I've never received a red box before too. So I am so curious. I didn't get any notification about it. I have no idea. Like obviously this came from 20th, uh, 20th Century Fox because these are all 20th Century Fox releases. But nobody notified me. Uh, National Geographic is distributed through them. And there's Fox right there. So super shocking, but also super awesome. I mean, again, I'm souped that I got Logan because I actually don't even have that in my collection, the 4K version. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to checking out some of the other shows in here too. But this is <laughs> a complete mystery to me. Yeah, Red Box of Mystery. At first I thought it was going to be Red Box of Doom. I was like, well, somebody sent me something crazy in here, earthworms or a bomb. I'll have it filmed and uh, <laughs> I'll have it on YouTube. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> but... Yeah, let me know what you guys think of these movies and TV shows if you've seen them. And uh, let me know what was your favorite uh, from this red box of intrigue. Uh, international red box of intrigue? I still can't go over this because I have no idea that this was coming or happening and how I happened to uh, receive it. But I'm very thankful. Um, yeah, let me know again if you've seen any of them, which one was your favorite out of this bunch. And uh, hope everybody's doing well. Take care.